Hi everybody, it's week 29 of my pregnancy. It's also Valentine's Day weekend. Depends how many week. Um, so today I actually wanted to cover something that one of my viewers had asked me about, and that is, um, are we going to circumcise my baby boy when he's born? Um, it took me a little bit of research and a, a bit of debate because we usually assume that circumcision is what everybody does. It's what's common in the culture. Um, however, I really don't like surgeries of any kind unless they're absolutely necessary. So I did my research, checked online, spoke to a couple of doctors to see what their opinions were. And it turns out it's not medically necessary. There are pros and cons to it. Some people say that it's easier to keep clean if it's circumcised, that you can avoid certain illnesses. Um, on the other hand, there's people that say that if it's circumcised, it's more protected against certain uh, STDs like HIV and things like that. Um, it's all debatable. There hasn't been that much research on it. So it really comes down to a parental preference and decision. It could be done for, his, for just cultural preferences, aesthetic purposes. It really comes down to what you feel is best for your child. Um, the American Pediatric Association or, or something like that, they say it's medically not necessary, so a lot of insurance companies are no longer covering the procedure. Um, so you've got to take a look at that as well. We're not going to. If there's absolutely no real concrete reason for me to do it, then I don't feel like my baby needs to go through that. Um, I know it's a procedure that's generally safe and can be done re relatively painlessly with anesthesia and everything, but I just don't feel comfortable putting my baby under the knife for any reason. Besides, he can always get it done when he's grown up if he wants to. I mean, that's fine. It's not like I'm going to say no, but, you know, there's no, there's no real necessity, so I'm not going to go with it. Um, but again, I mean, that's really, it comes down to personal choice. Some people say 65% of males are circumcised in the United States. I just read a, a statistic, it's a magazine saying that last year only 33% of boys got circumcised. I don't know. Apparently in England, they're not doing it very much anymore either. Um, so that really comes down to what you feel is better for you. Um, let me see if there was anything else I wanted to discuss. Oh, yes how I'm going to give birth. Well, as you all know, I'm going to do it as naturally as possible. However, there are a few questions about how I was going to do it. At the birthing center that I'm going to use, they let me be as free as I want to be. So I could do the water birth if things go according to plan and, and the timing is right. Um, however, what was important to me is that I don't have to lie down throughout the whole process, which is what is typical in hospitals and things like that. It's more natural if the woman can actually move around during the contractions and, you know, support herself on a wall, on, on, on a yoga ball, uh, just get on all fours or hold on to her husband. You got to move around. So I'm glad that I found somewhere that they are open and receptive to me being as active as I want to be during my birth. I would like to use the water, hopefully. But we'll see. Um, my husband will definitely be there. We're going to start birthing classes next week. Uh, apparently they last for six weeks, the ones that I'm going to. Uh, I managed to find somewhere that gives them to me for free. So very cool. And um, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, some of my family members might be here for the birth. So it's not going to be as, as private, uh, which is okay. I mean, in my family, we're used to having grandparents, the siblings, the aunts, everybody there. Mm, yeah, I don't know. But at least my husband will be there and probably one, if not both, of my sisters. And hopefully my mom, uh, who is coming over for the baby shower. That's another thing. We're getting ready for the baby shower. Um, my mom and my aunts are going to be hosting and working on that. My mom's preparing a menu. My aunt is taking care of dealing with invitations and getting everybody to RSVP. Uh, the list has gotten very long. It's at over 45, about 45 people that I'm inviting. I know everybody's not going to be able to make it. Uh, but still, even if half of those show up, it's still a pretty big crowd. So thankfully,
Luckily, we have a big enough house to handle it. Uh, last, well, a couple years ago, we did have a very big Halloween party, and we were able to pull off having about 30 people here. So it should be okay, but I am a little bit stressed out about it. <laughs> but it'll be fun. Um, my dad will be here. He's traveling from Puerto Rico for his birthday and the baby shower. My mom's going to be here. Ashley, my little sister, will be here on spring break. So we're going to have a great time. It'll be really nice to have them with me. Uh, of course, and other friends and family will be here as well. So it should be a blast. And I hope that everything goes smoothly. Um, no special plans for Valentine's, not really. Although, hubby already did get me some flowers. Very sweet. And I'm hoping to get some chocolate. Organic ones, please. <laughs> and um, other than that, I hope everybody has a happy Valentine's. And that everything goes smoothly. Bye-bye.